this part down here is basically not very useful for one of my little kits that has a sensor that would attach down here and uh, measure steering angle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this accessible for um, sensors to read the angle. And I'll just kind of show you what we've got here. This is a motor, electric motor. Um, you can see in the background, shaft with big gear on it and some electronics here, some wiring. Definitely, if you buy one of these, uh, don't take this wiring off because um, the way that they they wire it in has just like these little things here that um, they don't really, uh, let me see if, yeah. The way that they go in and out, it kind of is tied into these tiny little wires that will get ripped out. So just trust me on this. Don't don't rip out these electronics. It's really not necessary for this modification, but when you get it, it'll be in one big piece, kind of like this. Got to take the motor off. In this case, it's got a nice shaft that's directly connected here, as opposed to the uh, Prius that uses um, uh, sort of a, a buffer system, a little cog wheel that um, is not so direct, so it's a, got some wobble in it. Uh, but now you can see a little bit closer what's going on here. And this is a nice little shaft that I'm gonna take out. It's got a bearing here and another bearing far down here and let's see so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drill instead of um, just drilling directly here which seems very easy but for a perfectionist type of person um, even though it's got like a, a line through here you can't even trust you can't really trust stuff like that to be a perfect line in the middle uh, and then of course you have to figure out what is centered that way as well but anyway i figured the other way to do it would be to drill from the inside so that's what we've got here and what i did was i initially made this so a clear drill guide if you want to call it that um, this one, the hole's a little bit bigger than I kind of wanted. This has got a 10 millimeter hole, and that's fine, but you would need to put a, um, a sleeve, a, a one millimeter thick sleeve, like a metal sleeve or copper or whatever material you want for the drill bit that I'll be using. I'll be using a 5 16 drill bit, which directly coincides with the uh, tip here. So I'll be basically drilling all the way down to where this tip went and uh, to hold it still, I've got a revised guide here. So it was uh, pretty easy to design and basically just put it like that. You can see how it holds everything nice. And so I'll just, uh, if you really wanted to drill in aluminum, like real perfectly uh, you'll put oil in it as well in this case I don't care so much about it make it kind of messy I could also use my drill press 
Um, I also have other drills that are just more powerful, but let's see how this one goes. And if it's inadequate, I'll just go from there. So I'll start drilling. Okay, I can see I have the torque setting on my uh, drill on the very lowest. So I'm gonna crank my drill torque all the way up to drill mode. So that was here. So I had it on one and that was because I was using it as a screwdriver before. So now it's cranked up and you can see there's already some accumulation of aluminum in there, but uh, I'll have to keep going. Well, gotta make sure I hold on to it nice and tight. So. Oh, and it was already actually uh, pretty much all the way through. So of course I'll clean this out real good, but uh, it was very easy to drill right through this. So this will allow, allow me to um, analyze the situation and design a, um, a kit to a kit to make it easier for people to um, adapt a external sensor onto this and. Uh, Anyway, that was pretty easy, pretty fun. And if someone ends up being scared to do this themselves, they can just send it to me and I'll, I'll do it for them. It wasn't a big deal. And as far as when it's like mounted on a car, uh, this is like a, a swivel hinge. So it would mount kind of like, kind of like this, uh, because you know, most of our cars, you can swivel the, uh, the steering wheel up and down so and then this would be pointing downwards uh towards like the airbag and the shaft you know goes like that this is in line with the steering wheel so hopefully you can sort of visualize that Okay, that pretty much sums it up. Thanks for watching.